Hello, hello, hello. Today we'll be talking about a library. Well, technically two libraries that is I find very useful. So the first one is the frequency count, freak count, and the freak measure. So those are the two libraries we will be talking about today. Um, our schematics will look something like this. So you need to connect your ground and to your pain signal. Uh, you need to be able to generate, you know, uh, some kind of square wave. Um, right now, I am planning on generating my one hot signal, uh, ten hot signal, hundred hertz, and one k hertz. So we will um, do a test and uh, see what works for both of these library all right so okay before we move any further the major difference between the frequency measure and the frequency count is is this right here so this is the the quite obvious difference between the frequency count and frequency measure so for frequency count you are trying to count frequencies that are in a higher like a higher frequency so they are best for higher frequencies and so this is 1k hertz up to 8 megahertz right so this frequency measure they are best for lower frequency relatively lower frequency so this is 0.1 hertz to 1k hertz so so yeah that's 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 the measure to diff difference and um, so let's go back to go back to frequency measure and let's go ahead and copy our code let's just go ahead and copy this and let's go to our Arduino so this is a new Arduino let's go ahead and delete this and paste it here so if you don't have it added all you need to do is to go to tools um, go to manage library then so we, we we are trying to use the frequency measure right so you just go ahead and go over here type in frequency frequency measure all right so you see uh, as you can see saying that I have it installed so all you need to do is click on install here and uh, and that's it then when you are ready to test your freak count type in count and go ahead and also install it yeah i will actually then have you go ahead and install it right away so you don't have to worry about coming back to install it all right so now we can go ahead and go to our serial read okay so currently i have it set to one hot signal so according to this loop as you can see um we we sample about at least 30 um, samples of data to before doing the calculation for the frequency so since I am um, since we are outputting right now one hot so it would take at least you know 30 seconds to get a, a, a full sample so right now we, we we received something here now I don't know why we have this okay don't don't worry about it. let's go ahead and it and wait for the next for the next count all right so now we have we have received the second um, sample or the second um, count that is one hertz so now I am going to change the frequency to 10 hertz And I should get a lot faster in in, in printing out the the frequency. So now we are about 9.84, pretty pretty good for a 10 hertz signal. So I'm gonna change it to 100 hertz signal. All right, we're getting faster. That's a 100 hertz signal. Um, right now the library is calculating the frequency to be 
98.28 which is you know close to pretty close to 100 hertz signal so let's go ahead and change it to 1k signal all right so now the this library is calculating the frequency of our signal to be you know 983 point you know 95383 jettabas so so not not bad, right? Not bad. So now let's go ahead and delete this code and go back to our documentation. As you could see, we are going to change the frequency count. So the frequency count code is a lot simple. Uh, you see. Okay, so pretty simple, right? It's um, including the library, um, initializing the serial port, and um, all it's doing is checking if there's any signal coming in, and it reads it. Quite simple, right? So the only issue with this is it, is it will not be able to see the um, one hot signal. But let's go ahead and upload it. Remember, we already added this library by going to tools manage library so right now we are uploading uh, I will expect it I will expect this um, this thing to be unavailable but it's saying zero okay so let me go ahead and change it to 10 hertz signal Still, a 10 hertz signal is not. Oh, I know, I know why, I know why. So for this, for this, um, let's see, for this library, you need to have your your pin to be at pin five. So let's do that. Now let's go back to. Let's go back to our. Let's go back to change it back to one hot signal. Let's clear this. So now I have it at one hot signal, and it's working pretty good actually. <laughs> it's it's coming up. So essentially, for uh, for our application, we can use this library and not even worry about the the ring. So it's working pretty well. It's actually lot more accurate one hot signal okay so let's go ahead and change it to 10 hot signal it's oh my goodness this is beautiful so it's right on the money 10 hot signal so this just seems like this library is a lot robust although I I'll be interested interested to see a lower frequency than one hot you know see if it still works good but yeah it's quite it's better better than with the range with the frequency range that i am applying or uh, that i'm measuring or i'm counting it's a lot very much accurate so let's go ahead and change to 100 hertz signal all right that's 98 99 98 98 okay 99 pretty good okay so let's go ahead and change it to 1k hot signal all right 984 984 okay i feel like it lost some accuracy there yeah. i have to look to find out what the other one was saying okay so yeah nine i mean still not bad for an arduino um, library I would take this any day you know with this much line of code very simple so this is what I have to share today uh, let me know if you find this comparison um, useful I uh, hope you were able to at least pick up some new tricks to counting frequencies and um, have a wonderful day Thank you. Bye-bye.